Mojo 88 Bass and Bourbon here. Um, with the pickup I got on a whim today at a local store. I've been wanting to try this Peerless, any type of it. Um, found it as a small bottle, like a flask size pretty much. And it's a barrel proof straight Y Kentucky whiskey. It says it's aged for 24 months. Uh, we got a hundred and... 5.4 proof 52% and we got some stats here on the back a barrel number was three um, the barrel was chosen on July 18 2018 and the barrel date was on March 10 2016 Really cool little bottle. Um, I did just want to pick it up just to see what it was hitting for. And uh, let's dig in. Been drinking a lot of rye lately. So we'll see how this one measures up to uh, my Jack Daniels Heritage. was one of my favorites recently. And uh, the Michter's US1. Yeah. Real nice color on this, a light caramel, but uh, almost like a golden color, more than a, a dark caramel. Um, the nose, getting a lot of rye smell, almost a little bit of corn. Some light hints of caramel and sweet oak. Maybe even a a touch of, I want to say cinnamon, but it's more like a nutmeg or a mixture of the two. Very faint, though, in the back end. Smells pretty good. And let's go for our first sip. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, On the front end. You get some nice sweet oak, uh, a little bit of um, char, I mean, or maybe just a, a strong oak. Um, you get the caramel in there, um, almost a little touch of honey. You get a, some fresh wood and, a, and a, you know, a little bit of Kentucky hug heat. But, I've got to say, I'm pretty impressed with this stuff from being aged for 24 months and um, just being a pickup. Uh, I, I wasn't the town to um, go to visit my buddy, uh, R.I.P. Dino, and um, uh, when, I, when I left, I did... Um, I visited a local bourbon gallery store, and the, uh, on the way out, I actually saw this in a small display case behind the shelf, and I picked it up just because normal bottles of this run for about, I don't know, like $90 or something like that. Not that I wouldn't pull the trigger, but um, since it wasn't the, the, you know, the flask-type uh, bottle, and uh, this is a really little bottle, and... Um, it was a brand that I've been looking forward to trying. I did pick it up, and now I'm, you know, I'm not too uh, disappointed. It's a decent whiskey. I think I paid like $37 for this tiny bottle, which is a lot. But as I said, you know, their, their standard offerings, uh, 750 milliliter, I think, are about 90. This is um, 200 milliliter. Um, and um, it, it's really not bad uh, barrel-proof rye whiskey. Um. I'm usually not one for rye, but um, this is pleasantly balanced for 105 proof. It's very drinkable, and uh, kind of caught me off off guard. Maybe there's a reason they charge ninety dollars for their stuff. Um, now I will say that uh, I could taste get a similar taste from other whiskeys for less, but for what it is, I would say that um. It's good stuff. Now, now I'm not going to go buy a bunch of Peerless and, you know, harp on it. Uh, 
it kind of reminds me of, uh, you know, a Bellmead Reserve or, you know, an old Forester, 1897. It's very similar. And uh, I'm, in retrospect, I'm glad I got to pick this little guy up. Uh, it's pretty cool and not bad stuff inside. Didn't want to take long on this review, but Peerless Straight Kentucky Rye Whiskey Barrel Proof. Not bad. Um, Going to be a short review. Salute, as I always say. I appreciate you turning in. Tuning in, excuse me. Turning in. Tune in, turn out, drop, uh, whatever the guy said. Uh, I appreciate y'all spending some time with me today and checking this video out if you do. If you ever do see this and you have an inkling to uh, drink some rice.